Goodman. We continue today with our coverage of the historic return of the Honduran President Manuel Zelaya. On June 28, 2009, hooded Honduran soldiers kidnapped Zelaya at gunpoint, put him on a plane to Costa Rica, stopping at a U.S. military base in Honduras called Palmarola. Scores of peasants, teachers, journalists, farmers have been assassinated since the coup two years ago. This week, 87 U.S. Congress members sent a letter to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton calling on her to suspend uh, U.S. aid to the Honduran military and police, putting mechanisms in place uh, until mechanisms are in place to ensure security forces are held accountable for abuses. Almost two years in exile, President Zelaya was, until his family was able to return this weekend. They were greeted by tens of thousands of supporters as they arrived Saturday in the capital city, Tegucigalpa. I sat down with former President Zelaya at his home on Sunday and started by asking him if he supports the U.S. Congress members' calls uh, to cut U.S. military aid to Honduras in light of the grave human rights violations. Yo no soy, eh, o sea, no soy afín a ningún acto de violencia. I am not uh, in favor of any action which involves violence. Me opongo a la pena de muerte. I am opposed to the death penalty. Me opongo a la guerra. I am opposed to war. Me opongo a los actos de tortura que se practican en diferentes partes del mundo. I am opposed to the acts of torture that are committed in all kinds of places around the world. Y por tanto... No soy afín a la escuela de aumentar el, el, el armamentismo ni el militarismo. And I am not in favor at all of increasing armaments or militarism. No soy eh, tampoco eh, contrario a la existencia de fuerzas eh, de seguridad del I Estado. I am not opposed to Tienen security forces of the, of the state. They, these have to exist. Tienen que existir fuerzas de defensa, fuerzas There de seguridad. Defense and security forces have to exist. Pero la violencia but, siempre but the violence always va a ser el peor método will be the worst method para corregir problemas políticos in order o sociales. correct either political or social problems. La pobreza y la corrupción no se combaten the poverty con and más the corruption armas, cannot be battled with more arms sino con más democracia. but with more democracy what are your plans right now un solo que 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 un cuál es su plan ahora yo regresé por un por un solo concepto que garantizó porfirio lobo presidente actual i came back because of one uh, one point of the accord that lobo was in agreement with Reconciliación y elecciones libres. Reconciliation and free elections. Si dan elecciones libres dentro de dos años, el movimiento que yo impulso if va a have, ganar las elecciones. If they have free elections within two years, the movement that I am the head of va will, we will win the elections. Y la invito dentro de dos años, en 2013. And I invite you in the year 2013 to come here and witness this election. A que venga el, a ver el triunfo de un movimiento popular. Come and see the triumph of a popular movement. Si hay elecciones libres. If there are elections One that are free. One last point. Um, what about... Uh, holding those who fomented the coup accountable. Do you believe that they should be punished? Los responsables del golpe deben ser castigados. La justicia no tiene ningún ningún obstáculo para aplicarse. Justice does not have any obstacle in which uh, in which should prevent it from moving forward. Yo presenté demandas internacionales por el golpe de Estado. I presented international uh, juridical uh, complaints uh, because of the coup. Y están en curso. And they are still moving forward. Los delitos políticos. The political uh, crimes. Se crearon una amnistía en Honduras. Uh, were also about creating an amnesty in Honduras. Pero los genocidios. But the genocides. Magnicidios. The magnicides. Asesinatos. The assassinations. Y las torturas. And the tortures. Son un proceso eminentemente judicial. Are a process which is uh, ultimately judi juridical, judicial. And you think they should be punished? Y deben ser castigados. La justicia debe de aplicarse siempre para el que Justice es responsable. should be applied for those who are responsible for the crimes. How did you get into the country uh, on the 21st of September? ¿Cómo llegó usted al país el 21 de septiembre? 
Hubo muchas personas que cooperaron. There were a lot of people who cooperated with that. Ocho, en todo eso. It took two days Hasta que logramos. Overnight, and we finally achieved Pasamos ocho retenes militares. Eight military checkpoints. Usamos varios vehículos. Several vehicles were used. Dobles también, personas dobles igual a mí. Doubles, doubles of mine were used. Uno lo, uno lo dejé en Nicaragua y otro one, en Guatemala. One was left in Nicaragua, another in Guatemala. Entonces las cámaras lo estaban filmando. And so the cameras were filming those doubles. Y yo estaba allá. And I was already there. Y yo venía acá caminando. And, and I was sneaking into the country. Sí, entonces fue todo una estrategia, la planificamos nosotros. And so there was a strategy that we ourselves planned very well. Pero era necesario. And it was necessary. Yo, 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 yo quería interpelar. I wanted to enter in al sistema and to interfere with the y a, system y el propio departamento de and Estado. to interfere with the, the Department of State itself, que estaba jugando con ambigüedad. Which, was, which was basically being very ambiguous. Okay. So you have tried many times to come into this country. How does it feel to be home? ¿Cómo se siente estar aquí ahora, presidente? Eh, se me ha quitado la mitad del estrés. It has taken half of my stress away. El destierro es una tortura. Uh, to be in exile is a torture. torture. It's, It's a torture. torture. No, It's no. a torture. Es como en el inconsciente tener este, tenés como un problema de que estás in your, es que sos extraño. En todo lado un extraño. In your, in your unconscious you feel something so so strange to be in exile. Todo lado un extraño. O sea, Everything is strange in exile. Es una presión. And it's a great pressure. La presión desapareció cuando puse un pie en Honduras. And the pressure disappeared when I landed in Honduras. Como automático. And it automatically disappeared. Volví a recuperarme. Yo I was able to recover myself internally. Sí, la... la, la hay un, un, una palabra que dice un, un dominicano. There's one word that a Dominican says. Juan Pablo Duarte. Juan Pablo Duarte. Dice, vivir, dice así, vivir sin patria to es live, vivir sin honra. To, to live without a homeland is to live without honor. Y ese es el destierro. And that is okay. the exile. That was former president of Honduras, Manuel Zelaya, speaking to us in his home in Tegucigalpa on Sunday after his return. The September 21st we were talking about was September 21st, 2009. He had been ousted at the end of June. A week later, he attempted to fly into the country with the former head of the U.N. Uh, General Assembly, Miguel de Scotto, the former foreign minister of Nicaragua. Uh, he attempted to fly in, but the military prevented him from landing at the Tegucigalpa airport by lining up trucks at the airport. More than 100,000 people gathered at the airport at that time to try to receive him. The Honduran military opened fire, and they killed a young man. When President Zelaya returned on Saturday, the first place he stopped was at the memorial for Isis Obed Murillo, 19 years old, who was killed on that day, just a week after Zelaya had been ousted by hooded Honduran soldiers at gunpoint at his home at 5 in the morning. On September 21st, a few months later, Zelaya attempted to get into the country and succeeded. No one knew until now how exactly he did it, and he just told us about the body doubles. He made it into the capital, to Gusagalpa, and holed up in the Brazilian embassy for more than four months. To see our reports uh, with Democracy Now!'s Andres Contreras in the embassy, you can go to our website at democracynow.org, as well as to see the full interview with President Zelaya, uh, the first part of which we played yesterday.